show you the installation on a 3GM30F Yanmar engine. The kit number you'd receive for that is a 48YSP-3GM-B. Here's what you will see in the kit. There will be the instruction sheet. This is the uh, alternator pulley that you'll receive. Now this pulley is, can be used on the AT series alternator or the 6 series alternator. If you're going to use it on the 6 series alternator, you need to add this spacer to the front. That is the spacer uh, for the different links in the shaft of the, each alternator. You'll also receive a tube of anti-seize. That is to keep it down the um, corrosion between aluminum and steel. A tube of thread lock to secure, make the uh, bolts more secure. You receive the bolts for the crank pulley and the water pump pulley. That's what you find in the kit for a 3GM30F. The next step is to put on the crank pulley. Now remember we got to take this spacer and put on the inside of the pulley, the side that has this boss on the inside. So put that in there. Line up the holes and slide this on the crank pulley should slide on easily. Now, Yanmar and other engine manufacturers put a lot of paint on their engine. So you may have to take and sand off the excess paint around the crank pulley so it'll slide on smoothly. The next step is going to be to install the bolts. Now you see these are Allen head bolts. It takes a six millimeter Allen wrench to install these. So first we want to make sure we put on the super lock. Just as a tip. You might want to run a, th a tap through the holes because the fact that they use all this paint, there's a lot of paint and threads on the original crank pulley. So it might be helpful to run a tap through it to clean them up or at least run the bolts through before you put the pulley on just to make the installation a little bit easier. The next step is to put on the water pump pulley. Slide it over. I mean, you can't make a mistake. You just got to line up the holes for the bolts. Again, we have the Allen head bolts. It takes a five millimeter Allen wrench for the installation. Again, remember to put on the Loctite on each of the bolts. The alternator we're using to install on this 3GM30F today is an AT165. We already have the special pulley installed if we was doing this on a 6 series alternator, we would install a pulley like this with this spacer. Because the shaft of a 6 series is longer than the shaft of the AT series alternator. Okay, you want to put the bolt through, let the alternator relax. And just sit there. Belmar also sells what we call the belt buddy. It is a device that has a tensioner that allows you to tension it without using a crowbar, other demeans. This way you can just use a wrench to do that. Half inch wrench and you can tighten the belt. Now because of the uh, different mountings of their uh, adjustment arm from Yanmar, we're using a spacer today to mount this one so we have the right spacing to the alternator. Once the alternator and the belt buddy is installed, take and install your belt. Now you'll notice this is a different belt than the one you have on your car. This is a J10 belt. Most automotive uses a K belt. Once you have all of the, uh, or the belt around all the pulleys, then you can tighten up the belt by using your belt buddy. By simply taking and turning it tight. Once the belt is installed, then you can tighten it by using the belt buddy. And all you do is take and tighten this bolt and as you can see the belt will be getting tight. Once you have tightened the belt, tighten the bolt that goes through the adjustment here. And once you've tightened this, you're done. You've completed the installation of the alt mount pulley kit and the AT series alternator or it could be the 6 series alternator. For more information visit us on balmar.net or cdielectronics.com.